Hey guys, and welcome back to another YouTube tutorial. My name is the Panda Man 3, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to add cool and trippy effects to your OBS or Streamlabs OBS through display capture. Just like this. Ooh. Roll the intro. Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're going to be showing you how to add cool and trippy effects uh, with Streamlabs OBS. Today we're going to be using Streamlabs OBS for demonstration purposes, as this cool effect doesn't require any plugins whatsoever, or any of that nonsense or any of that download nonsense. What we're going to do here now is we're going to make a new scene, and we're going to call it cool effects as you can see we have a blank scene here there's nothing on here just yet um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our webcam on this scene so I'm just gonna paste my webcam back on here um, but as you can see we have our webcam up here and so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna find a cool background somewhere so go on the internet find anything cool uh, anything you like, just find a background and apply it to the scene. Just like this one. So now as you can see, we have our webcam source and our background image source. We have two sources at the moment. Um, just make sure your webcam is showing and your background image is behind you. So now what we want to do is we want to add a display capture to achieve the trippy effect. So we want to click on display capture right here. We want to add source. Uh, let's call it cool, sorry, cool effect one. The add source right there. Just a quick note, uh, when adding a display capture, just make sure you're picking the right display that is mirroring your OBS and what window or display your OBS window will be on so you're able to achieve the effect. Anyway, back to the video. Enjoy. So as you can see, that's taken over the whole OBS and we can't really see anything at the moment. Uh, we don't need to worry about that too much. But what we need to do with the display capture, we're just going to drag that and put it under webcam, just like that. There we go. So now what we want to do is we want to crop this display capture to get that cool trippy Ooh, trippy effect, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to crop it. Um, there are many ways to uh, crop a source. Um, what I do is I hold Alt on the keyboard and then I drag and that crops the image. So what we're trying to aim for here is to get rid of all of the borders. So we're just seeing the screen as we do here. So we're getting rid of all this all these Streamlabs OBS borders and stuff we don't we don't want to see it here. So we're just we're just trying to we're just getting rid of all of it. We don't want to we don't want to get rid of too much. We just want to get just the right amount, just like that. Um, this will go. This will be different for everyone using a different layout on OBS. So as long as you just crop in the borders and it's clear like this, do you see another window? So when you see this, when you see like a big mirror of yourself, big lots of duplicates of a panda, um, what you want to do now is you want to rescale it. So you want to just make it a little bit bigger, just like that. So now that looks really weird. So when you move your hands, when you move around, it looks all weird and crazy. Um, so as you can see, we've got a very interesting effect here. Uh, it's very unusual. <laughs> um, it could be a bit, it could be a bit sore on the eyes. Um, so as you can see, we've achieved one trippy effect, cool effect here. Um, so now what we want to do is, if we want to customize it and make it look different, make it look maybe a bit nicer. Maybe you want it for a just chatting screen, or maybe you want it, you know, for a game scene or something, or you want it a lot more minimal than this. What we want to do now is, we can see our display capture. Uh, source right down here. We've called it cool effect one. Um, so we see that we want to right click that 
and then we want to go to filters just over here and then click that and now here you can we can customize a few things so usually what I like to start with is I like to add a filter called color correction uh, this allows you to change the colors of the source or change the opacity or change any other any any other um, thing that you want to do so we're going to click done on that and then what we're going to do is for now we're going to try and change the opacity so we're going to bring that down just a little bit here so as you can see we're kind of back to normal now but we've still kind of got that cool effect at the moment so it's still it's still pretty cool but it's not as it's not as so, it's not as crazy on the eyes as you can see we've already customized it quite a bit and that's quite a transformation so we can we can customize it as we do if we turn up the opacity it goes a bit more intense and a bit more slow like this we keep turning it up but if we keep turning it down it's it's more of a minimal look and it kind of gives us that cool effect that we want um, you can also change some more effects here, like the uh, the gamma, which will also brighten it up. Actually, that's probably not going to be very useful <laughs> this tutorial. Uh, what about the contrast? Oh, see, look at that. See, we just the contrast, and now we have even something even crazier going on here. I don't even know what this is. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> so as you can see, like a lot of these settings will change. Um, a lot with your image and your background um, so there's there's a lot to play around with here um, like this one this one's just ridiculous <laughs> so I'm gonna show you some more effects that we could possibly do um, with this um, so what we want to do if we want to add some more effects same thing so we just add another display capture as we can see right here um, we want to add a new source instead, and let's call it Cool Effect 2. Like that. We'll add that. As you can see, we have our same window here. Uh, we want to crop it, just like so, like we are doing before. We get all those borders out of the way. It's quite satisfying doing this. I won't lie. I do enjoy doing this. So there we go. Now we've got a full scene here. So this is cool effect too, and we can just center that back up all the way over there. So now that looks kind of weird. So if we turn that off, if we turn the visibility of that source off, right here, it's gone. But if we turn it back on, whoa, <laughs> that looks weird. Um, so if you if if you put you know the display capture above your webcam or above the other effects it will kind of overlay it and it will it'll make it it'll make it quite strange but you can do some cool things with it um so we could we could we could move these display caps anywhere we want and we can just turn them on whenever we want just like that so now we've got another effect upon another effect and we can turn effect one off and see what that does Don't really do too much right now but we'll just leave that on we could kind of turn this on and this off you can kind of get effects like this. So it's really something you kind of just say, <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, it's really something you kind of just want to play around with. Um, it's it's a lot of fun. Um, the thing I really like about this is you don't need any plugins or you don't need regular OBS to do it. So just a few things to note is uh, when running this, you will need OBS to run on a monitor by itself. Otherwise, that will cause issues and the display cap will not work as it is supposed to. Um, yeah, so you will just need a separate monitor just to display OBS. So if you're streaming and you normally have OBS on one window or one screen of your computer, then great, keep it that way. Uh, this effect will work like that. If you do not, it will not work um, as it is using display capture and it is mirroring your image. Uh, point number two is it is recommended that you use a green screen for this to kind of get those cool effects, but you don't have to. Um, you can kind of experiment without it um, and see what effects you can get. Um, but it does work really well with a green screen. But as I said, you don't have to get one. Um, it can still work. It's just a little bit more fiddly and tricky to use. So I hope this video helped you. Um, 
if you have any questions, uh, leave a comment in the YouTube uh, comment section and I will try my best to reply to them. Um, I've been a bit slack in the last year or two since my upload schedule hasn't been too super consistent. Um, so I'll be uploading regular from now on this year and I'll be replying to all your comments if you have any questions or concerns. And uh, thank you for watching. If you like this, if you if you want to see this in action, um, you can check out my Twitch channel at Man 3 on Twitch. And yeah, thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you all next time. Adios.